The mornings I experience is human scale. Um, you uh, will know your teachers and your teachers will know you. Uh, you will know most of your classmates or many of your classmates and they will know you. But you typically won't know them as they are in a particular class unless you take that class with them. And every class brings something different out of students. Um, and so uh, in a creative writing class, for instance, uh, people tell stories that come from their imaginations, but also they are informed by their lives. And you learn things about folks that you would never learn otherwise, uh, even though you know these people well. So while it's a human scale and you're with people that you are familiar with, uh, you, you learn more about them as time goes on. And I think the networking and the connections and the, the sense of what it is to be a human being is expanded by that kind of, uh, those kinds of friendships and those kinds of awarenesses. And it's something that won't happen as richly at a school where you have one class with one professor and then you're gone from that person, or you have one set of students in one class and never uh, spend any time around them again. Uh, this, is a, this is a place where people build relationships. And that is what so much of what success in the world beyond school is about. Uh, and so I think this is a good training ground for that. We have so many ways that students can participate in the classroom, on campus, all over the place, including being a part of the kiosk, which is our student-run publication in conjunction with the art department. All student writers, all student editors. You can also be involved in the poetry slams. You can be part of Sigma Tau Delta by going to a conference. You can apply yourself to other places as well. You can be part of the theater program. You can be part of ODK, which is a leadership honor society. You can be double majoring in something. The beauty of the English program here is it's flexible and you really make the program your own based on what kinds of co-curricular experiences you want and how you want them to shape your future. And I think that when you look at all the research that's done out there, especially within the field of humanities, that return on investment happens maybe a little bit slowly over time, but you make in the long run as a humanities person a significantly larger amount of money than someone who job jumps because they don't exactly know what they want to do. But in the humanities, and especially in English, you find the confidence in your own abilities, and that leads into long-term employment and success financially, which goes right back to how much you're getting for financial aid. We are engaging, we're fun, and we love having people around talking, sharing their writing, telling us what the problem is, we'll help you, and we have an overall energetic, fantastic department.